Hi everybody, welcome to Creating with Love Crafting. Um, I have a Dollar Tree haul here. It's not very big, but I have added some things that um, were given to me that, it, that are quite cute from my mom who ordered, uh, she said they were trims from PCH. And um, uh, also, let's see, someone gave me a gift of washi tapes too. So this is uh, a little bit of a collective haul. And from the Goodwill, I got like three things from the Goodwill. So I just, I want to show all you things, all the things that I got. Um, okay, so that, uh, let's do the introductions. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Hit the bell for notifications of when I hit the uploads. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Everything else, guys, is in the description. Please, please go read about it. Um, I'm on Facebook with a group. Uh, it's my group. And then see me on Rumble, Patreon, and my Etsy. All links are below. Um, I have a... Within 60 subscribers, I am getting up there. At 500, I will be doing a giveaway, but you must be subscribed to my channel. Find my P.O. box, my name, in the description below, and send a note card uh, <coughs> and answer these questions. Hold on a minute. All right, so I just had an itch in my throat. That's from wearing a shield, and I have allergic reactions to masks, and it's starting with the shields, too, but they're not as bad yet. Okay. <clears throat> In your uh, card, I'd like to see your name, your email, and maybe your address, your snail mail, um, if it's not on the outside of the envelope that you mailed to me. I would like you to answer these questions. I would like to know what your hobby is, what you love to do, and why you got into that hobby, and your favorite pet, what you love about that pet, and your pet's name. Maybe tell me how long you've had that pet, too. All right. <clears throat> so now I'm going to start with the uh, extra things that people had uh, given to me this these things were included in a gift, and my mom ended up um, seeing these on PCH, which is Publishers Clearinghouse, and she ordered them. These are gorgeous, and I'm not into um, washi tape, but look, these I'll use. If I remember to. I don't remember to use my washi tape because I haven't really been into washi tape. Come on, focus, baby. You can focus. And then we have <clears throat> the the flowers on this one. This pretty pretty thick. Pretty thick flowers. And then you have the antlers with the flowers in it, which I don't know what that is. And then you've got this one. And then you got this one. These are pretty big. I have never owned really, really thick washi. And then it came on this holder for washi. <clears throat> but knowing my son's kitty, she will get them off. She will, she will. So I'm going to leave them like that. Then these were in a gift somebody uh, gave me. And this one says, Faith, Hope, Blessed with all that because she knows I, I really like to have washi that is um, faith filled or whatever faith filled stuff and I'm looking for that so this person who got this for me uh, looked for this stuff and then here's some cute glorify him bloom with grace be still and know that I am God. That is my favorite. 
um, scripture. But if you look on my banner today, on my Creating with Love banner, my son made me a new banner, and there's some scripture on there, so read it, guys. And my banner is on my YouTube channel. It's my header so that you can recognize me. He put some brighter colors on there so you could find me better. And this says thank you and grace and all that. And this is a pretty thick one, too. I really like these. They're really cute. I may start wash, um, using washi, but I don't think that I will collect it like other people do. I have, I have, <clears throat> this one says love, amen, peace. Um, and I believe, yes. Other people have, like, more washi than me. I don't have enough. I only have one container, and it's not even all full of washi um, because I don't look to buy it. So <clears throat> here's part of my Goodwill haul. Only three items, guys. So white this time was um, half price, so the color white. And these are little photo albums. And like I said, you can use these to put your little um, ephemera pieces in. Okay. Like this. Okay. So you don't have to um, go and look. You All you got to do is flip through. You don't have to dig through drawers or anything. But I, these were 50 cents a piece. So that was a whole dollar. Okay. And then I found this. And I did find another book in the Dollar Tree, so I'll show you that soon. But I found a paper graph book, and if you look through it, it does have some nice pictures and what to do. If you kind of get lost like I am right now, kind of lost for ideas, um, <clears throat> I, um, I made kind of like 12 junk journals and I kind of got I think I burnt myself out so I'm taking a little bit of a break and just doing haul videos and maybe I will do paper piecing and stuff like that until I feel that um, the burning desire to do it again I've done this to myself before so I have to be careful with how, the amount of things I do um, I will be doing um, bicentennial books for uh, the 4th of July, not bicentennial, oh, I just say that, you know, for the 4th of July, I will be doing books for the summer, red, white, and blue like these. These will possibly be going up into my Etsy. They are beautiful, okay? So, um, and I'm probably going to do a patriotic book. You want, hold on, I gotta let my kitty out and then I'll show you the, um, the Dollar Tree haul. Okay, so here we are with the Dollar Tree haul. I'm sorry, I did, I, you know, I want to do the, uh, the other stuff first, but I'm going to do the Dollar Tree haul now, okay? Sorry about that. Hold on a minute. All right, so you all know that my granddaughter comes over, and I have uh, some of these. I bought two packages of those. These are Simply Clean, fragrance-free. Um, as you know, that we should be using fragrance-free on our kids and stuff. God knows what they put in them. They make you, you know, they make, they stink. Okay. Dollar Tree Haul, guys. You know, it all fell over on me. I had it coordinated in a little basket, but it had to fall over, and that's what you heard in the video. So I went and, this is dirty inside, wow. But I went and bought, it's called a book bin, okay? But I'm not going to use it for my book. I'm going to use it for, um, to store paper in. So I bought that. Um, so I'm going to leave that so you can see part of that in the corner. And then, guys, um, I saw these, and I just thought they were absolutely beautiful. And I use these in my junk journals. So, <clears throat> these are uh, gift sacks. And you can use them for your lunches, too. These are just like lunch bags. Anyways, I thought these were pretty. 
And those etching dies that I showed you in my other video from the Dollar Tree, you can use to make better edging on these. These are cute edges, but you can make your own edging. So that's just an idea. All right, guys. I didn't get much here, but what I did get, I thought was really pretty. So I bought this tissue paper because sometimes I use them for pages or, or to cover tags or to make a card. And look what is on this paper. Look right there. I just love hum hummingbirds. To me, they're gorgeous. I wish I could learn how to feed them so I could have them in my yard. But um, I know that it's sugar water and everything, but I live in a, a part of a city. So I don't think that, that they would come here. I'm not sure. Um, if anybody knows any different, let me know. <clears throat> so my son, he asked me to make a sign. Oh, here I am dropping things again. So he asked me to make a sign and in the sign in, in the shape of a tag um, yeah, a tag. So I had to buy the alphas. And usually I don't buy alphas because I don't really work with them. But I bought these because they were the most masculine ones in my store. And with what he wants me to spell out, streaming, please knock, I needed two sets. So I got that. And then I found, I have been after these for four weeks guys and they finally stocked them in my store which I know what they do now is they kind of hold sorry this is like blocking light so I'm going to move it uh, it's even blocking light there I'm going to move it okay and then you can see that there all right so <clears throat> I have been looking for stuff in my store and I know what they do now because the guy told me they hold things in boxes till they're ready to put them out on the shelves. So this I have been looking for for like four weeks. These types of stickers. These are flat and they're plastic. And they're see-through or translucent. And they're just plain old gorgeous. And I have been looking for these for spring junk journals for a long, long time. You know, and you can make uh, birthday cards or whatever card you want to make. Then I found this one. I really like that. These are the sunflowers. And then these are the roses. And I was like looking at this one and I can almost smell the roses. Okay. So let's stop talking crazy. And then I was looking for the other ones where they have the butterflies that are translucent. Okay. And um, they're made of vellum, I believe. And you can see through the wings and everything. And they're layered, guys. They're layered. You can see that, right? Um, but these I have been looking for for a long, long time. And then I found the shell that you can see right through. I might pick them apart and take um, the white thing off of the back of it. You know, the pop-up tape. And then I found the dragonflies. I have been looking for the tra dragonflies for a heck of a long time. Actually, the butterflies and the dragonflies. Okay, so that's not it. I also went and I found a dollar book. In this book, I don't know, it's worth sixteen ninety five, guys. And this is called scrap it so this t you know you can go through this and you can pick out things because i really see this layout i can use for junk journaling i can use it for making a photo album even a card all this layout here i am trying to whenever i come up with an idea i go blank now and um i just think it's a a period where i'm going through i can't think you know what I'm saying? So they have, they come up with all of these little scenarios here. And so I have these at my fingertips. So I don't really run out of ideas. Like I have a metal can like that. 
And I possibly can do something like that. I have a tea can like that. So, and I can probably use that tissue paper to do the metal can with. But it, decoupaging isn't my thing because of the kitty hair around here. Um, I can possibly learn to make these for my own stuff. Or to decorate them. You know, I can decorate this plastic thing if I find the things that will stick on it. Like the glues. And then these, you know... These are so, so simple, but yet I couldn't think to do any embellishments like that. And I can do, put the buttons on here, and also, see these buttons, you can, you can't see, see these buttons here, you can just place them right here and have the cutie under here and have this cut out. I have a punch like this, and I have a bunch of ribbon. I could make embellishments. Okay, but I just couldn't think. And if you go through, it doesn't help me um, to go through like Hobby Lobby to find the ideas hanging on the shelves there because I just put them away. This is in a book. Maybe this will work for me. I don't know, guys, but that is my, um, maybe I just need a, a little bit of a break. Maybe I'll just do... I don't know, I'll just do little things like um, paper piecing and dies and stuff for you in the beginning. Um, let me refresh my brain. I think I burnt myself out. I'm very sorry about that. Um, I do want to do my paper piecing with the other dies I got on, um, on clearance with Hobby Lobby. And then I'm going to do one Elena Craft not Elena, AliExpress craft haul with dies. And then we'll go through that whole thing. And um, when I get that in, we'll be doing paper piecing with that. So um, I kind of want to stretch out from junk journaling. I really love to, to make junk journals, but I kind of want to help you guys have some more ideas for Christmas and all of that. I do have ornament videos and stuff like that for Christmas. There is Christmas in July. I have to think and get, um, I kind of have to get all these ideas up for Christmas right around May. I have to start pulling things for that so that I have projects ready to go. I need containers to hold them in so I know what I'm doing. Um, but that's, uh, that's that, um, we're getting ready to buy me two new cameras. They will be different cameras. Well, they will be having, like, we, we will have, um, I also need a stand and a microphone. I do want to make this better for you. And then for my rumble, I kind of want to make a different channel. And it will be called Jilly's Opinion. I really, really want to uh, branch out into other things and maybe Jilly's opinion and maybe um scripture with Jill but at the end of these will always be a prayer I am not going to uh veer from that because it's all about Jesus and it's not about me so maybe that's why I'm blank and I have to pray to the Lord and have him show me things so okay guys let's just get uh, praying now. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross. Thank you, Lord, uh, for blessing America. <clears throat> and thank you for, you know, putting things into proper, um, you know, doing what you want to do with America, not with what people want to do with America. It's what you want to do, Lord. So um, heal our nation, heal our land. We do plead for you to do that. God bless each and every one of us. Thank you, Lord, for dying for us. We accept you into our hearts and heal our hearts, our minds, our bodies, and our souls. God, guide us every day of our lives with your Holy Spirit as you infill us. And everybody, we pray these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. So guys, 
let's just um, be kind to each other. Uh, I may want to start a little program called R-A-K, Random Acts of Kindness. Um, I just did one of those with two ladies that were are very kind to me in the comments. I sent them some junk journals, and they absolutely loved them. They weren't expecting them, but that is what you call a random act of kindness, and I may start a program with that. Um, <clears throat> not a program, but maybe, you know, just a one or two time thing a year that we can do that together, whoever watches me. And, um, if you send out someone, one of your friends or someone who is ill, you know, like a card or some kind of tag you make, we can, um, you know, write that up in the comments or whatever and tell me what you have done or you can write to me in my P.O. box and tell me, and I will use that on a video. I won't use your full name. I will just use your first name, and I won't use the person's name that you sent things to, I promise, but I will say what you sent and um, when you sent it, and I kind of want to do a program like that, but I'm going to think about it, okay? So, guys... Be blessed each and every day of your lives. And this isn't the end of the hauls. I have to um, do the things I have to do. And then um, it's not the end of my crafting either. I just have to think a little more. Okay? So keep creating with love. I'll be back.